First thing I did was run all the 4x4s I planned on using through the planer. This isn't 100% necessary, but I like doing it because it cleans them up and gives me consistent stock to work from. Here I'm just following the build plans and cutting the 10 degree angles on all the pieces I'll need for the table base and the bench legs as well. I set up a temporary stop block and I also have the miter saw dialed in to cut a very specific depth to make the first cut for all the half lap joints. Using the bandsaw here to cut the majority of the waste away, this is probably the fastest way to do it. Because of the 10 degree initial cut on all these pieces, the bandsaw isn't going to remove the piece totally, so just threw it in the vise, used the pull saw to cut the remainder away, pops right off, then just clean it up with the chisel. bench legs you can see here I'm just marking center I'm pre-drilling for a 3 8 inch dowel that's gonna go in there and then I'm pre-drilling for the large screw that's gonna hold it together I'm gonna apply a large amount of glue put it in there screw it fill it with the dowel let it dry this part of the table base could not be cleared out with the bandsaw like I used for the other pieces so you just make a series of cuts and whack the waste out with a hammer, clean it up with the chisel. I'm assembling all these half laps the same. I'm gonna pre-drill that 3 8 inch hole to receive the dowel, apply a good amount of glue, secure it with a screw, and then plug it with the dowel. Once the base and the bench legs were done, I started working on the tabletop. Here I'm running the two by sixes over this mini joiner originally. I hate this joiner, it's useless. I wish I never bought it, but I have it, so I use it. The majority of joint work is done in the vise with the hand plane. Once I get a good joint, I'll glue up two of the two by sixes, let them dry, then run them through the planer. These are gonna be the two benches. They're gonna have mini breadboard ends just to match the tabletop. Here I'm lubricating the wood where the router is gonna pass over just to make it a little smoother, easier, adds a bit of control. Highly recommended technique when you're doing something like this. This, I'm creating the tongue and the tongue and groove for the breadboard end that's gonna go on here. I'm taking shallow passes, just repeating until I reach the desired depth of cut. Using a dado stack to cut the groove in the breadboard end, then just doing some guess and check until I get a perfect friction fit. I'm not really worried about expansion and contraction so much on these benches as I will be when I get to the tabletop, so that's why I'm applying glue to the entire length. Cordless sprayer comes in handy on projects like this. It runs off my DeWalt drill batteries. It just makes quick work of a project like this with all the geometric shapes and corners and nooks. Next thing I gotta do after it dries is sand it to expose some wood and then lightly apply some dark walnut stain. Here 
Here's what the finished product looks like. This is by far the biggest pain in the ass of the whole project is working on the tabletop. It's planned to be just over seven foot long and three foot wide. I started by gluing two two by sixes together, running them through the planer, and then back to the old hand plane and just a lot of guess and check, making sure we have good jointed boards. Once the glue's dried, I just clean it up and then I work on cutting a straight line on either end. If I had a track saw, it would make this a lot easier, but I don't. So I cut a roughly straight line and clean it up with the router. Same technique is used to do the tongue for the breadboard ends. Because this tabletop's over three foot wide and is comprised of seven individual boards laminated together, I am worried about expansion and contraction. So when you're drilling these holes, you need to elongate the ones in the tongue to allow the dowels to free float. And then when you glue it, you only glue the center and put glue in the bottom to secure the dowels in place. That will allow the breadboard, which runs perpendicular to the grain of the tabletop to keep everything flat and in a line, but will allow the boards within the table itself to expand and contract with humidity. And then just the shitload of sanding. Double fisting orbital sanders in a project this size definitely cuts down on the amount of time it takes to sand. I set everything up outside my yard and then hit it with about five coats of lacquer on the top and two coats on the bottom. 